For this course, you're going to learn about Python. Python is a programming language. So a programming language is a language that a computer can understand. The same way that we have different languages, i.e. Spanish, English, French, Portuguese, so on and so forth, it's the same way when we talk to computers. So we have Python as one of many programming languages. Python is really suitable for beginners because it's easy to learn. And in this course, I wanna make sure that you fully understand this language. With Python, you can do many things, right? You can build websites, you can build games, you can build desktop applications, web applications. If you are into machine learning, if you are into data science, Python is the tool for you, right? But don't you worry about these things too much because first, let's understand how to use this language and then you can decide which path that you want to take. So now that you know what Python is, let's go ahead and install Python in our local machine. So I'm gonna be using a Mac computer, but this setup that we're going to go through will work for both Windows users. So let's go ahead and navigate to google.com and in here and type Python. So just go ahead and simply type Python and you can see that we have this page where it says, welcome to Python. So this very first page. So python.org. The first thing that we need to do in order to use Python is to install it in our machine. So navigate to python.org and in this page right here, you can see that we've got the downloads link. So go ahead and click on downloads. And right here, because I'm on a Mac, I can see the download link for Mac OS. But if you are on Windows, simply click on Windows or Linux, you can simply use the, the version specific for your operating system, which is cool. Also right here, you can see that these are the active releases. So the active release right now, so the latest one is 3.8 right here. And if I show you, so 2.7 has reached end of life. So you shouldn't really be using this version right here. And if I scroll down, you can see that we can have, um, you know, specific release versions, right? But usually just go ahead and download the latest version, which has support until 2024. So right here, you can see that the latest version as I speak is 3.8.5. You might watch this video later. And if you have a, if there is a new version, everything that I'm going to teach you in this course will work with the version that you will install. So let me go ahead and simply download Python. There we go. Let's finish. Now let me open up the downloads folder. And in here, you can see that I've got Python. So let me simply click on it. And let me just collapse this. So the installation process for both Windows and Mac OS is really straightforward. You just simply have to press continue and then agree and then install. So before I actually press uh, or actually put my password, if you are on Windows, make sure to tick the box that says add Python to the path, right? So that's really important so that you can use Python from your terminal. So on the Mac, it does it for me. So right here, let me put my password, install, just give you a second. And there we go. So we've successfully installed Python. Next, let's go ahead and install a program that will allow us to write Python code. 